The next thing I wanna set up for this website is the post and page layout. Now, if I wanted to, I could go to the general section and control a lot of different settings about the layout as a whole. For example, the content max width just kind of determines how wide your website is. If you want it to be quite a bit wider or if you wanna make it more narrow, you can definitely do that. I'm gonna leave everything on this page at the default settings, but the options are here if anything jumps out at me at any point where I'm like, yeah, that does need to be specifically configured for this website. Otherwise, I tend to leave all of this as is. So for this video, we are gonna go down to the posts and pages layout, and we'll start with the page layout. So to see our changes, we're gonna need to go to a page. So I'll go to my about page, and the first thing we need to choose is whether we want the title to appear above the content or in the content area. So this is above the content, and if we choose in content, it's just gonna be down here in the content container. Now I think for pages, it looks a little better if I have it in the content, so I'm gonna go with that. Then you could choose your page title alignment if you wanna center it or anything like that. I'm gonna leave it as is. We can configure these title elements. Uh, so we've got the title, we can add breadcrumbs if we want. And if we wanna show the post metadata, we can also do that. It just shows the author and the date. I'm just gonna show the title. And now we have to choose the default page layout. So this is just sort of the standard layout. It stretches pretty wide and there's no sidebar or anything like that. If we want it to be a little more narrow, we can choose the narrow layout. And I find that this works pretty well for pages when you don't have a sidebar uh, because the normal layout, it is pretty wide and it feels like you're almost turning your head to read the full line of content here. So uh, I usually go narrow. And then if you wanna customize the specific width of the narrow layout, you can go back to that general page, click on layout and customize the narrow layout content max width. So it's 842 right now. We can make it smaller, we can make it bigger. I'm gonna leave it at the default. If we want to, we can also add a sidebar we can do a right sidebar or a left sidebar, and then we can choose the default sidebar. So we've got sidebar one and sidebar two. Now I think for my pages, I'm gonna leave it on the narrow layout, but I will use a sidebar for my posts. Uh, next, you can choose whether you want your content to be boxed or unboxed. And just to show you what that looks like, boxed sort of separates the content area from the background. And with unboxed, your content is directly on the background. So I usually go with boxed. And then we can choose to enable or disable content vertical padding. So that's this blank space above and below the content area. So you can see if we disable it, the content area is right up against the header and footer. And we can also have it only on the bottom, only on the top, or again, disabled completely, but I'm gonna leave it enabled. We can show a featured image and comments if we want. I don't really need a featured image or comments on my static pages, so I'm gonna leave those disabled. Now I'm pretty happy with this layout for my pages, nice and simple. So I'm gonna go back and get started on my single post layout. So again, we have to go to a post for this to reflect in our preview. And this is sort of what the default post layout looks like. We've got our title showing in content. We could do above content, which would look like this. I'm gonna keep it in content. And then once again, we have all of these options for what we want to display at the top of the post. So we can do breadcrumbs, categories, title, meta, and excerpt. 
So the way it's set up now, it's showing the categories, the title, and the metadata. That's pretty much exactly what I want to display. Uh, but notice you can also rearrange these things. So if I wanna have the author and date above the title, for example, I can just drag it up over here and it moves up above the title. But I think it was fine the way it was, so I'm gonna leave that there. And then we have to decide whether we want a sidebar. So right now we're on the narrow post layout, but we could also do the wide normal layout, or we could add a sidebar either to the right or to the left. I'm thinking for this website, I'm gonna add a sidebar to the right. I'm gonna leave the content vertical padding. I do wanna show the featured image. And then I have to decide how and where to show the featured image. So the options here are above, behind, and below. And this is in relation to the title. So right now it's showing behind the title. If we show the image above the title, it's gonna be within the content area, above the title and metadata. And if we choose below, same thing within the content area, but below the title. I think I'm gonna go either with behind or above. So let's see. I think I'll go with above. I think behind looks better without the sidebar because the, the content is centered and there's a little more space for the image. So I'm gonna go with above in this case. We can also change the featured image ratio. I'm pretty happy with the way it looks, so I'm not gonna do that. Um, we can choose whether we wanna show post tags, the author box. So I'll show you what that looks like. Uh, normally this would have my bio. I haven't added a bio to my profile on this site, but we can do normal or center. And again, my bio would be right here. So I'm actually gonna disable that. Um, we'll leave the post navigation. That's the previous and next post links. We'll also leave the related posts. And beyond that, I think that's all I need to edit for my post and page layouts.